officer down. Two words no law enforcement agent wants to hear. For Captain James Hall, his service to country and badge ended on October 23, 1971. The case remained cold for 51 years until old and new technology combined to open a case involving prison escapes and identity changes. Welcome back to Mysterious 7. I'm Michael. Today, we look into a case reignited by social media half a century later. This 51-year-old case was solved by a Facebook comment. I never thought this case would be solved. It has been. And anybody out there that wants to be bad, just remember that. In Montgomery County today, a major break in a 51-year-old cold case. Special Deputy Sheriff Captain James Tappan Hall was shot dead during a home burglary back in 1971. Our story takes us to Maryland. Ironically, Maryland was the first state to pass the Facebook password protection bill. Yet, this social network helped bring a killer to justice. At 10.40 p.m. on October 23, 1971, witnesses entered the Manor Country Club. It was reported that a man was lying face down in the southeast parking lot. The victim suffered a traumatic head injury. Police and fire rescue responded to the call. The victim was one of their own, Captain James T. Hall of the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. He was found with a bullet wound to the back of his head, his own gun pinned beneath his body. He was shot before he could return fire. It's alleged that Hall was working overnight in uniform on security detail at the Manor Country Club. He was rushed to the Montgomery General Hospital. He eventually succumbed to his injuries three days later. It took detectives over 50 years to track down a killer that not only changed states, but his own identity. There had been a spate of robberies on the night of James's murder. Officers received a call about a robbery at the country club. Other officers were dispatched to a burglary at 4119 Beverly Road, adjacent to the golf course. It's alleged that two suspects were involved in the robberies occurring in the vicinity, one of which remains unknown to this day. James was shot after confronting the suspects and interrupting the burglary in progress. Upon arrival at the crime scene, police discovered the vending machines at the country club were broken into. Items from the Beverly Road robbery were found near a tree on the club's golf course. Around four to six teenagers, known to be responsible for these sorts of crimes, were rounded up on that night. All were cleared of responsibility and released without further questioning. All leads were exhausted. The case went cold. James was 53 years old at the time of his death. He'd been working for the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office for 10 years. Not much is known about his family. However, at the time of his death, he'd left behind a wife, two children, and four grandchildren. His official file reads as, killed in the line of duty, cause of death, gunfire. On the Officer Down Memorial wall page, James is fondly remembered by his daughter, Carolyn. Carolyn said there was not a day that passed in which she didn't think about him. She described James as a man who shined when he put on his uniform and loved both his job and fellow officers. Carolyn remembers the advice he gave both her husband and her brother, who were also Montgomery County officers. Watch your back. She asked friends to always remember those words. Fellow officers and loved ones of fallen officers who died serving their nation pay their respects daily on the page. For over 40 years, the relatives of Captain James Hall have traveled across the country to recognize his ultimate sacrifice at the Montgomery County Public Safety Memorial. Hall's murder remained the oldest cold case on file. Like all cold cases, the file would be pulled out and put away many times as no new leads surfaced. On the 50th anniversary of his death, detectives from the Montgomery County Police Department's cold case unit vowed to take another crack at the investigation. A fresh set of eyes meant a new angle to investigate. Detective Leggett and Corporal Killen of the cold case unit were given the task. For almost a year, both Leggett and Killen combed through old case files and reports. 
they determined that a 22 caliber pistol was used in the shooting. Detectives listened to old recordings and interviewed witnesses. Time was of the essence with the case being so old, but they were going to strike gold. Detectives would finally have a name, Larry David Becker. It was not going to be easy though. The suspect was as elusive as smoke. When investigators reopened the case, an old reel-to-reel -reel tape was uncovered as part of the evidence. The FBI were tasked with converting the audio. Investigators stumbled upon a bombshell discovery. The recording was of an interview conducted back in 1973. The voice belonged to Larry David Becker, who was 22 years old at the time. He was a person of interest, but not a suspect. On the recording, Becker revealed he had been present during the killing of James Hall. Becker stated the exact number of times Hall had been shot, a detail withheld from the public, something only the killer would know. At the time, according to police documents, Becker told the investigators he would cooperate if he could receive consideration for leniency on unrelated charges. Police were not looking at Becker as a suspect. The interview was routine as he was involved in criminal activity during that period. Becker was already serving time in jail with his brother for other petty crimes. Becker too did not realize the weight of the confession he made during that interview. Records don't indicate if Becker served any more time in jail since the taped interview. His criminal activities though seemed to have toned down. Initially, Becker was not a suspect in Hall's murder, but police now believe they had their killer. Yet, tracking Becker was going to be a problem. In the midst of the investigations, detectives discovered that Becker had changed his last name in 1975. He was now using the alias Larry David Smith. Larry may have dropped his last name, but social media has a way of bringing back the past. Detectives were able to use Facebook to find Larry Smith. While researching his account, several comments were made referencing a high school he attended in Aspen Hill, Maryland. Photos were used for verification and officials finally had their proof. Larry David Becker was living as Larry David Smith in upstate New York. Leggett and Killen made their way to upstate New York to meet with Larry Smith in September 2022. Upon arrival, they were met with a 70-year-old man living in an assisted living community in a rural town. Larry confessed to the killing. He explained that during the robbery in 1971, he was interrupted by Hall and fired once. He alleged it was an accident and he did not know the wound was fatal. Larry told detectives that Hall approached him while he was moving stolen goods from a nearby property to a getaway car. In order to escape, he fired a shot at Hall's head and ran. Larry said that he ran through as many backyards as possible to evade police at the time. According to charging documents, Larry asked the detectives to apologize to Hall's relatives for the killing. Not much is known about Larry David Smith, a.k.a. Becker. Larry was adopted by a family in Rockville, Maryland. He and his brother both had extensive criminal histories by the time they were teenagers. At the time of the shooting, Larry had been homeless sometimes living with friends or in the woods. In 1973, Larry and his brother were each incarcerated for other crimes. On March 31st of that year, they both managed to escape from prison. The elusive duo managed to evade authorities and remained on the run for five days before being recaptured. Detectives determined through court documents that, in 1975, Larry changed his last name from Becker to Smith. Larry was in his mid-twenties at the time. Smith was the surname of his biological parents. He then moved 300 miles away to Little Falls, New York. After changing his name from Becker to Smith, he remained anonymous. Larry lived a truly uneventful life according to his neighbors. Here he lived until his arrest on September 1st, 2022. Investigators Leggett and Killen applied for an arrest warrant and received it on September 1, 2022. Larry went without a fuss. Having waived extradition, Larry was taken back to Maryland to face charges for the first-degree murder of Captain Hall. Becker is currently being held without bond at the county jail.
he is expected to appear in court for a preliminary hearing on October 7, 2022. State Attorney John McCarthy said Becker could face a maximum penalty of life imprisonment. For Captain Hall's family, finding his killer has finally brought an end to a half-century of questions. Both Hall's children, Melvin and Carolyn, expressed their gratitude to law enforcement for solving the case. In interviews, Carolyn stated that she had kept up with the department regarding her father's case. The status remained uncertain even though they were actively working on the case. She encouraged others who were missing loved ones to keep after the police and sheriff's departments as they're there to help. Please don't give up. Please keep after the police department, the sheriff's department. They're here to help you. They really do. We found that out. Melvin said he was shocked to get a call telling him the case had been solved. He had given up hope after 50 years of waiting. I never thought this case would be solved. It has been. And anybody out there that wants to be bad, just remember that. He regrets that his father did not get the chance to meet the younger generations of the family and develop his own relationships with them. Hall's children both said that closure was not the word they would use to describe the solving of the case. Carolyn was glad to know the person responsible for her father's death was caught. He did something terrible. And that's what makes me happy that he's been caught, she said. Melvin said he would not be satisfied until Becker was prosecuted. There's no such thing, in my opinion, as closure. I hope he had a miserable life. I know that's a bad thing to say, being a Christian. But he killed my father, and he should pay for it, he said. Hall is fondly remembered by those who knew him. Montgomery County Sheriff Darren Popkin spoke at a press conference held on September 7, 2022. He remarked about the dedication of the Hall family and their unwavering support throughout the years. In May 2023, when we gather again for the Police Memorial Week, perhaps Jim will be resting a little bit more peacefully, he said. The investigation of Larry David Becker is ongoing and witnesses are urged to contact the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office with any related information. For Captain James Hall, his watch ended on the night of October 23, 1971. His legacy lives on through those who knew and loved him. With new technology, though, many cold cases are being reheated. What's your take on the way new technology is helping solve cases? Do you think the net is getting tighter around criminals? Let us know in the comments below. For now, stay safe and keep watching Mysterious 7 for more mysterious content.